Selahattin Demirtas were arrested in 4th of November 2016 by a Turkish government. He has been described as the only democratic voice of Turkey and among Kurds Selahattin is seen as an unafraid role model, a great leader. But what is his story? Today we will talk about Demirtas himself and his democratic struggle in what reminds of nothing else but a fascist society. Selahattin Demirtas were born in the city of Paru El Azir, in mid-eastern Turkey. The city is originally an Armenian town, which as of the Armenian genocide were empty of Armenians. Today there is about 10,000 people living in the city, most of them being of Zaza Kurdish descent. Demirtas himself were born into a Zaza family. He grew up relatively good and were not involved in any political environment until one special occasion. According to Salatin himself, it was during the funeral of Vedat Aydin when his life changed drastically. Vedat Aydin were a political himself. He was kidnapped by Jitem, the counter-terrorist forces of Turkey. However, it is good to know about the crimes that Jitem have been committed during the years. For example, the killing of Aydin himself, a peaceful politician in a dangerous Turkish society. Two days after the kidnapping, Aydin were found dead. Now in the upcoming funeral, Demirtas realized the importance of the struggle. This were not a question of political thoughts. This was a question of human rights and the rights of existence. In an interview in October 2015 with The Guardian, Demirtas explains, I became a different person, my life's course changed. Although I didn't fully understand the reason behind the events, now I knew, we were Kurds, and since that wasn't an identity I would toss away, this were also my problem. Upon this life-changing moment, Salahatin finished school but were unable to graduate from college due to his political views. He then returned to Diyarbakir, where he worked as a lawyer for a few years. During his first time as a lawyer, Demirtas dedicated some time and became a member of Human Rights Association in Turkey. Within time, Demirtas were voted in two, becoming the head chair of the organization. Among their most important questions were to lower the gaps between different ethnicities in Turkey, but also to solve all the unsolved murders of political figures in Turkey. Demirtas' political career started in 2007, when he became a member of the Democratic Society Party, one of a few established Kurdish parties in Turkey. Within time, he created a respected spot within the party, and out of thousands, he were elected into the parliament. At the age of 34, he was elected to become the parliament chief officer of the party. However, the party were closed down by Supreme Court in 2009 and most of the party's representatives moved into a similar Kurdish party called the Peace and Democracy Party, or in Turkey, BDP. In 2010, the BDP elected Demirtas and a woman, Gultan Kishanak, to become the party's leaders. Demirtas continued his career in BDP during the peace process and negotiations between Turkey and PKK. However, in 2014, the party of BDP were dissolved and a new party was created, called the HDP, People's Democratic Party. Demirtas focused on the upcoming elections and were trying to get votes from Kurds, left wings and other oppressed minorities as homosexuals and political enemies of the Erdogan regime. The first election in 2014, the presidential election of Turkey, became a success and HDP got 9.77% of the votes. One year later, it was time for the general elections, and here Demirtas claimed another great success, as HDP claimed 13.2% of the votes, becoming the fourth biggest party of Turkey. This was a great record for a Kurdish party in Turkey, claiming 80 out of 550 seats. 
The result of the election were a big obstacle against Erdogan's plans of extended dictatorship since he needed and hoped for a own majority in the result. Even though HDP for a long time had been persecuted as a party, the treatment of the party became much worse now. Hundreds of politicians were arrested and citizens of Kurdistan were bombed as Erdogan used the PKK conflict to start a witch hunt against both the HDP and the PKK. On November 4, 2016, Selahattin Demirtas were arrested. During his arrest, he stated that he was neither a manager, member, spokesperson or sympathizer of the PKK. On January 18, 2017, Turkish prosecutors announced that they were seeking a 132-year prison sentence for Demirtas. Many politicians in the international community have shown their solidarity with Demirtas. But there is also a big, big group of people that are too quiet, mostly due to the important relations the country have with Turkey. Which means that they are practically selling out democracy, freedom of speech and freedom overall. What do you think? Comment your opinion below. Give us your opinion about what we should do next in the next video and please subscribe, like, share, comment, do everything, help us grow and we will continue uploading good videos for you. We are very glad for your support. Thank you and see you next time.